Okay, hi everybody. Uh, this is going to be a short video on uh, a nice little program I like using called Follow Me Car. Let me first of all go in here and go to a full screen. I'm not going to make it too long. Um, uh, where do we go here? Full screen. Okay, um, what Follow Me Car I use for is this is uh, Eham, Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam. And you notice the size of this thing. It's got a runway here. It's got a runway there. It's got another runway here. Another runway here. Got all kinds of runways and taxiways. And you ever get in these big airports where uh, even in the daytime you have trouble following the taxiways and figuring out how to get to the runway when you're sitting at the at the terminal. Well, what I like about Palomi car is you. I'll put a link in the. Uh, in the description, but it goes into your plugins. Here it is, right here. FM car, follow me car, and you actually have two liveries: default and orange. Default is yellow, and or and the other one is orange. So you have a choice of two colors. And this is payware, but I think it's only ten dollars. But it's the handiest ten dollars ever spent. And you can turn the map off. This is the little map. Turn it off. I can go back in the plugin here. You can turn it back on. There's the map for the follow me car. And the the only downfall about it is you can't enlarge it. That's that's the size it is. I don't think you can drag the corners. No. But what what it does is you can click on the map, select on the map. So if you want to go to the N one runway, you can click here. And it'll it'll do it, but <coughs> I'm going to select from the list. I want to go to runway 24. So you go in this list. Here's the runways. I'll click on 24, and now it's going to take me over to 24, so I can close this. If you if you close this off completely, the follow me car will disappear. So I'll zoom in. I'm ready to get going here, and I'll just do a takeoff with you. And I'll show you how nice it is. So here I am in here. I'm in a Saab 340. I'll make that quiet. And there's the follow me car right there. He's going to stop right there and he's going to wait for me. So I've got the... Uh, I got the... Uh, uh, pushback going here. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. So he's going to move in on me and lift my front wheel up in the air and back me up. Back it out a little bit. Tied my wheel on. Winching strap and adapter in position. Release parking brake when ready to start pushback. Take a look around here. And the follow me car is right there. Ready, push back. Waiting for us. There we go. Thank you for your attention. It's time to get you ready for takeoff. We know you have lots of choices. So thanks for choosing American. We're happy to be your airline. Now, we'll just follow along with me. We'll be on our way. Now, remember, we're going to go to high runway 24. Before we depart, here are some important safety instructions. 
first things first, let's buckle those belts. Insert the metal end into the buckle and pull the strap to tighten. To open, simply lift on the top of the buckle. And remember, seatbelts should be fastened whenever you're seated, just in case of unexpected turbulence. To get us on our way, make sure you're seated up, all electronic devices are put away, and your tray table is filled. If you have a carry-on, lift it all the way under the seat in front of you. If it won't fit, place it in the overhead seat. You'll find our full electronic device policy in the back of your American way. Now let's review the safety card. Please pay close attention, and before you know it, we'll be off. All exits on this airplane are clearly marked. Take a moment to locate the nearest one. Keep in mind, it may be behind you. In the event of an evacuation, Operation the gate pass lighting will be here. Parking break. Follow the light until you've reached your exit. Leave all carry-ons behind. Just text quickly and safely to the nearest exit. Don't forget, it may be behind you. Oh, if the airplane loses pressure, oxygen mask will drop automatically. While remaining seated with your seatbelt fastened, Hold down on the mask to extend the tubing. The yellow cup goes over your nose and mouth like so, and flip the band over your head to secure the mask to your face. The band adjusts automatically. Normal breathing will start to flow of oxygen. And remember to always put your own mask on first before helping others. Life vests are located either under or next to your seat. To remove the vest, pull the tab or compartment handle to break the seal. For help locating them, see your safety card. Remove the vest from the package like this. Put the vest over your head. Drop the strap around your waist, attach the buckle, and pull tight. Once outside, pull the tag to inflate your vest or blow into the red tube on the side. In the water, a light on your vest will illuminate. And please, slowly inflate your vest outside the airplane. Now, your seat cushion may be used as a flotation device. Just remove the lower cushion and put your arms through the strap found on the opposite side. The crew will now be coming around. So is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal will be on the right. We'll see you next time and have a great flight. The captain has turned on the seatbelt sign. Please return to your seat and fasten your seatbelt. Okay, he's giving us the thumbs up. We're ready to go. I hate that elevator music though. And just follow me, car. You can never run into it. If you speed up, you'll speed up. See, I think the yellow shows up a lot better than orange. The orange is quite a bit darker.
You want to turn them lights down a little bit. Caution on taxiway, on taxiway. That caution, man, I was taxiing too fast. All I do is slow it down a little bit. Like a speed warning. And this is really nice. You'll take me right to runway 24. I don't have to. See how easy it would be to get lost at night on these big airports if you didn't have this? That's the handiest little thing. It doesn't work at all airports, but the airports it works at, if you land at a takeoff or spawn at an airport that, it, that has a uh, follow me car, this will show up automatically. If you don't see this, the airport doesn't have follow me car. Trying to gauge my speed with the follow me car so we keep the same distance. got these uh, taxi signs on the side, these yellow taxi signs. They look nice, but they're practically impossible to read. There's one right here. You can't read it. Another one here. You can't read it. So this follow me card sure makes it handy. It says when you look at their page, it's for X-Plane 10 and X-Plane 11, but I got X-Plane 11.30, and you can see it's working fine. Hey, this would be a nightmare trying to find the Action. runway One, in eight, the dark. Left.
I guess I clicked on 27. I thought I clicked on 24. But that's how the follow me car works. On runway 27. Flaps. Flaps. Ladies and gentlemen, we do thank you very much for your attention. And now we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the takeoff. The captain has made tower communications available, so if you'd like to monitor the air traffic system, you'll find that on channel 9 and your headsets in the seat pocket in front of you. We'll give you a little more information about our service plan for flights as soon as we're in the air. Thank you, and again, welcome aboard. Well, we got the wind in the right direction, so here we go. Turn it up a bit. Gear up. That's up. And that's how the follow me car works. I hope you enjoyed that little demo. I was mostly showing you how that thing taxied and how it works. I could do a long flight, but no point to it unless you just want to see the scenery. So I hope that was entertaining and you liked that follow me car. <laughs>